Hey, it's Dan with EUjuicers.com coming to you as always from the heart of Europe. And in this video, I'm going to present to you something we just got in. This is the new Vidia Personal Blender. Now, we focus at EU Juicer mainly on juicers, but we have some blenders and we take a look really closely when we bring something in, when we decide to offer it. This little personal blender had some features that we thought were pretty cool and we decided to offer it in our eShop. So let me tell you about it real quick. You know, personal blending, the whole idea is you're not replacing a countertop blender like a Vitamix or a Blendtec. This is something that's low cost, value priced, and to go. You wanna make a smoothie really fast in the morning, you've got a couple of minutes. These are designed to do that quickly, easily, minimal cleanup, and even the cups here are integrated. So you just pop this thing off, put a lid on, and you head off in your car. So some of the features on this guy, why did we decide to offer this? First of all is the motor. This thing has a thousand watts. A lot of personal blenders out there are anywhere from 300 to 600 watts. There's some higher end ones around 900. Uh, the fact that this came in at a thousand was impressive. And a lot of times watts, that's just marketing speak in some products, but in a blender it really does matter because in something like this, you're making a smoothie and the more power lets you cut through thicker ingredients, things like uh, leafy greens or some seeds and nuts, dates, if you're using dates to sweeten it, ice, crushing ice. Something like this, um, I view this mainly as a smoothie machine. Now, I saw a video with this same blender uh, just a, about an hour ago making cake batter with uh, oil and eggs and flour and all sorts of things, and it looked like it did pretty well. You could also do things like maybe grind coffee. But for something like making soup or, I don't know, nut butters, things like that, leave that to the countertops. This is designed to just, just be fast and to be on the go with your smoothie in a couple of minutes. Um, some of the other features I liked about this, a lot of these personal blenders require you to hold down on these cups or hold and twist. And when you do that, that blends it. It's a cost saving measure, so there doesn't have to be a control panel. This one actually has a control panel. It's a three button um, control panel. There's a start stop, there's a pulse button, and there's an auto blend, which I'll try today in just a second here. Auto blend's nice. It does an automatic cycle with a series of pulses and then varying speeds to make supposedly a great smoothie in about 60 seconds. We'll see in a second. And besides that, it does come with three cups. There's a 700 milliliter, there's a 500 milliliter and a 350 milliliter to go with the handle here. Also three lids. It has a storage lid if you're gonna store your smoothie. We normally don't recommend storing smoothies very long. Depends on the ingredients in there because of the oxidation. If you have a vacuum smoothie like the big brother to this, the Vidia Vacuum Blender, yeah, you can store smoothies up to 24 hours. But these are designed, you make it and you drink it and go. But you could keep it in the fridge for an hour or two maybe. It also has these two, um, two go lids, which just have a little flip top. So if you're in the gym, if you got it at work, if you're in your car even, you want to drink your smoothie in the car, you're not going to spill it with that. And besides that, that's about it. It's got a nice stainless steel body, simple unit here. It has some suction grip cups, so it stays pretty solidly. We'll see when I blend. And what am I blending today? What smoothie? I'm making a basic recipe. You want to do about half greens is what we recommend. So I've got some spinach here. I'll fill it up about half with that. A couple of fruits to sweeten things up, some fresh strawberries and bananas. Frozen also works well. And then um, add in some protein and some fats. I've got flax seed, sunflower seeds, and some cashew milk. I'll also put a little ice in just to give it a little more texture and to see how this guy does with ice. So let me get to it there and I'll start filling this guy up. So to take this apart, it's super simple. All these caps fit on each jar. They all use the same threading system. And I'm gonna just shove some spinach in here. Like I said, about half greens. It depends how much greens you want in there. That should be fine. There's a line here that says max, so I don't want to go beyond that. Start out with maybe half a banana. Yeah, a whole banana will be fine. A couple of strawberries.
maybe a spoonful of each of these. Again, a couple of spoonfuls. Since I have cashew milk, it's already going to have some nut fat and protein in there. Oftentimes, I would just make a smoothie with water. And then flaxseed just for some nutritional benefits. Those healthy oils in there. Now what I want to do, I've got some ice. Because I really want to see how this guy will do. I've crushed frozen berries in it. It did fine, so it should do fine on ice. And then you just want to fill up. Generally a smoothie should be about half liquid. Up to about the max line. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe a bit more. And just screw this thing on. Pop it in. And I'm going to use the auto blend. And we'll see how it goes. So what it did, it ran about uh, seven cycles, if I counted right, seven or eight, where it would blend from slow to high, like pulses almost, um, for like five seconds. And then it would stop for a second. I did notice one little piece of spinach leaf was stuck on the top. It, so it just meant I probably could have filled it more, but that was all. You can see the consistency here. It's pretty smooth. I see some tiny bits of green, which is, you know, little bits of spinach leaf, maybe a few bits of flaxseed, but otherwise it looks pretty good there. Um, I'm just going to try it and see. Yeah, it's fine. It's smooth. It has a nutty taste. I think it's the combination of the sunflower seeds and the almond milk. But otherwise, it's pretty good. Sometimes I'll put dates in too if you want things real sweet or if you want your kids to get into smoothies. But with a banana and uh, strawberries, it's fine. And the beauty of this is the whole cleanup. This is all you've got to clean. It's just this piece. Uh, just rinse it right when you're done with your smoothie. You know, 10 seconds, you're done. And this is your to-go glass. So you'll just put this in the car. And then when you're done with your smoothie, pop this in the dishwasher. It's made of... Um, Triton plastic. It's BPA free, so it's dishwasher safe, and that's it. So in about a minute, you've got a smoothie. And that's it. That's our first look at the Vidya Personal Blender. For the price, I think it's a really good value, and it does the job well. It's a good value. It's fast, it's simple, easy to clean. So it's definitely worth taking a look. If you want more information, you can come to our website. That's www.eujuicers.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Dan. I'll see you next time.